Welcome, everybody, to Serving in Business. I'm your host, Steve Ramona, and this is our podcast. And I'm super pumped and excited for my guest today. It's Davida Fink. She's a health coach with 20 years experience in the sector where health and nutrition meet, which I love that phrase. Davida, welcome to the show. Thank you. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here, Steve. I always like it when we get a chance to chat. Thank you. No, this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's say, let's talk about 20 years. That's a long time to be in the sector. We'll use your words, which I love. Why? Why 20 years? I guess it would be longer if I had been introduced to it before that. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, that's when that uh, wealth of knowledge really came into my knowledge base. You know, that's my husband's a physician. And that's when we were really exposed to the, I guess, to that rabbit hole of starting to really look into how much control we all have over our own health. And uh, it led us both really on a great journey. Uh, and so far, it's been uh, 20 years of, of uh, knowledge gathering, helping people, and a lot of fun. Yes. So I'm looking for 20 more. I'm looking for 20 more, at least. Amen. Amen. I love it. And audience, did you hear she works with her husband? So you couples out there that work in business... Listen to what uh, Davida has to say, because that's important. I know a lot of couples that work together. I, I don't, but that's okay. But with that being said, since we're serving in business, what what do you and your husband do to accomplish this partnership? I know you don't work completely directly, but you help each other. Talk more about that. So my husband's a physician. Uh, he works in a rehabilitation unit. And a lot of times he'll talk often to patients about what they can do on their own to overcome certain issues that they're having. And he'll give them some background information. And then he'll say, but if you want to get down to brass tacks, you need to call my wife. <laughs> and then I do, he gives the introduction and I give the guidance. And I am, I walk with people. I like to tell people, this is your journey. I will walk beside you. I will guide you to the best of my ability. But ultimately, it's your journey to walk. And uh, I just help people make course corrections along the way, baby steps. And that's really how we do it. And we really have been fortunate enough. And it really is just so humbling that we have been so fortunate to help so many people. I'm, I'm, I tear up when I think about it because it's, it's, it's such an awesome, awesome privilege. To be and you should, you, you should tear up because health is one and mental health, especially, but health is definitely always the top of every business owner, every business salesperson, anybody in business. If you don't have your health, we always hear that you don't have a business. Right. It's true. It's true. And your background's got that cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee and you're making me thirsty. <laughs> but I know it's tied to that 20-minute consultation I see there. So is this how you start the journey with a, a client? There's lots of different ways. Sure. It just it just depends. People, you know, over the past 20 years, I've gained a reputation in my community. And so people know to call me. I have written articles uh, that have been published in uh, magazines. And I've people have contacted me that way. And it's really something that is organic. You know, if I'm talking to someone and I say, and they something triggers, and I'll say, you know, I might be able to help you with that. Why don't we have a chat? Fantastic. And so it's really an organic, an organic growth process. Yeah. It's not something I necessarily go looking for. I don't advertise. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just that privilege when people reach out to me that I can help them. When you said something earlier about your journey, as in the client's journey. I love hearing that because a lot of times coaches, you know, it's about, hey, follow me and I'll take you on a ride. Their journey, I love that you said it's the client's journey because that's so true. We're all different. Mm -hmm. We're not one person. You got to handle them differently. Um, what's the name of your company? So it's Health Pure and Simple. Okay. And my website's healthpureandsimple.com. But just to get back to that journey point. Yeah. I really have a really, I have a core belief. And that is that you have to meet people where they are. Yeah. And that is the foundation of everything. Mm -hmm. Is just respecting people where they are, meeting people where they are, 
and going at the direction and the pace in which they want to go. I love that. Um, because here's the thing, somebody to be successful, they have to do the work, right? Ultimately. Right. So that's why it's their journey. And we kind of lose sight of that. And I love that you said that is, you know, you can't be at their door, knocking on their door and say, hey, did you do this, this and this? You're there to support and run their journey. Now, in their journey, I see in your your lower part of your logo there, educate, empower, dedicate and success. This is very important. Can you go over that? Because that's important to me. So I came up with something a while back and I call it seeds, right? Planting the seeds of health, right? Support, education, empowerment, dedication, and success. And when you have all of those things in place, that's when you can be successful. You know, no man is an island. We can't do it on our own as much as we would like to think we can. And it's more fun when you have people with you. So I can support you. I can provide education. I can provide resources. Uh, I can empower you to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. But ultimately, you have to dedicate yourself to what you want your own outcome to be when it comes to your health. Uh, but when all those things are in place, then ultimately, success is only a matter of time. Absolutely. And the audience that's listening out there, I always like to ask this question. Is there an age range you work with? Or is this wide open for everybody that you can work with, with this unique way of, of taking people through their journey? It's really interesting. I've been fortunate enough to help people from multiple age ranges. Um, I just spoke with someone actually last night. A woman just called me. She's in the very early stages of her pregnancy. She's having some issues and she wanted, you know, my advice on how she, sh how she could move forward accomplishing what she needed to accomplish, which was being able to eat and getting the proper nutrition and uh, get some things that her, her provider told her that she wasn't necessarily comfortable with, which is a nice, which is a nice benefit that I can offer since my husband is a doctor. A lot of times I'll hear something. And I'll run it by my husband before I, um, before I either advise or make recommendations. And he can tell me yay or nay or give me more information or more resources. So it's a great, uh, it's a great partnership that way. What a great resource because I know there's misinformation out there, and and to have him there, of course, being your husband, you trust and understand he's going to give you great information which is going to transfer to your clients. I didn't know this about Davida and audience listen to this. Not only is she the authority, but she talks to an authority, which is very important because I ran health clubs for 20 years and we did some nutrition, but it's important to get the right answers because there's a lot of myths out there. It's Speak true. on those. I, you're, I see your face oh. there. Speak on those. It, it's very difficult. It, it's very difficult to get. There's so much conflicting information out there. I, it's it's just, it, it's unbelievable. So it's very important to know where your information is coming from, who your sources are, whether or not they're credible, uh, whether or not they have conflicts of interest. It, it's just, it's really hard to get objective information. And that's another place where I really can offer a lot of a lot of guidance because I know where those resources are. People who aren't tied to different industries uh, that give credible information just based on their own research that they've done outside of structured, the structured environment. Yeah, those searches can be very dangerous. Um, in regards to that, the world has changed a lot with nutrition. We can go in the grocery store. You know, my wife works at Trader Joe's. There's gluten-free everywhere. Has that helped uh, helped your clients become more successful because it's more accessible to them? Um, it's, a, it's an interesting balance because okay. you have to be careful. You know, a lot of people think gluten-free, like to use your example, you know, gluten-free is a health craze. Everything says gluten-free and everybody mm -hmm. thinks that's terrific. It's really not terrific if it's not an issue for you 
because those products that contain gluten also contain trace minerals and vitamins that you can't necessarily get in other places. So if you can't eat gluten, then I wouldn't necessarily take it out of your diet entirely. It does provide some nutritional benefit. If you're someone, and my husband's off gluten. Uh, he is fortunately doesn't have celiac, but he does have a real sensitivity to gluten. So those things have been very, very helpful for us in terms of my cooking for him and preparing food for him. But I, so I don't know. It's just really a matter of talking to each individual person and seeing what, what their issues are and where best to where best to guide them. And I'm really all about baby steps, really all about baby steps. I'm not about, you know, removing whole food groups or, you know, let's go first to an elimination diet. And then I'm really, you know, my first, the first thing I always recommend to people is just drink more water. Amen. <laughs> you know? Amen. If you can Simple. just drink more water, you will see tremendous health benefits. You know, if you can just add one fruit a day, whether you're already eating fruit or you're not eating any fruit, just one fruit a day. You know, so I'm all about those baby steps and, and breaking people in because that's how habits stick, right? I mean, you were a gym owner. So, right? So what happens? January 1st, you have this mad rush the first 10 days of the month, right? You've got all these new enrollments. You don't know. You've got so much money coming in. You don't know what to do with it, right? And then by the middle of February, 30% of them are gone. And then by the middle of March, another 30% of them are gone. And then, you know, by the middle of April, forget it. It's as if, so it's the same way. You want, you want to build habits that will stick. Health is not a goal. Health is a lifestyle. Love that. That is so true. Audience, listen to her and what she's saying. Because when I own health clubs, people would come in that January. They work out like crazy. They would never lose weight because they didn't change their diet. They would leave our gym and go to the restaurant next door. It was called Harry's. And the local people listening know about Harry's. And eat a big Hertz turkey dinner with gravy. And go, okay, I did my work and I'm good. You need DaVita if you really want to lose weight. Exercise is a small percentage of the battle because I've lived it. I've seen it. Um, with that being said, as you can all understand, DaVita is pretty darn smart in this industry, in this sector. But tell us a good book that you can recommend to the audience to help them. So a book I recently read that was actually recommended to me by my son, uh, who's very mm. successful in his own business, was called, and I don't remember the author's name, uh, Surrounded by Idiots. And uh, I listened to it on Audible. And it was uh, entertaining and very informative. And for those of you who are familiar with different personality types, the decent personality mm -hmm. types, it really goes deeply into those. And it just really helps you understand people. And in my business, understanding people is valuable. In marriages, understanding people, understanding people is in families, <laughs> understand, right? Understanding people is a valuable skill. And uh, you know, they're really not all idiots. I mean, maybe some of them, but not all of them. And it just really helped me understand people a lot better. And it was, uh, it was just a fun listen, you know, That's, it was a fun yeah. listen. and uh, the, the uh, person who read it had an English accent. So that made it even more enjoyable for me. And it was just great information, you know, and, and so now we sit around my table. So one of my other daughters is now listening to it. And of course, my son had listened to it. He recommended it to me. So we'll be on the phone and we'll all be going, okay, what personality type is this? And, you know, then we, or my husband will do something. I'll go, okay, that's such an X behavior, whatever. <laughs> I just have to go, okay, <laughs> just him. Great information. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, Personally and professionally. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's really, really valuable to understand people. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we, we project. Right, we project on other people, and when they don't react the way we think they should or the way we would, you know, it, it can really throw us for a loop. But if you have a framework to put that in, it makes things a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. Now, audience, all her information is going to be in the show notes. I suggest to reach out to her and learn more about this. If you're out there and you've got health issues and you need to lose weight, 
or a combination of both or just want to feel better, sleep better, all those issues, this is the lady you need to talk to. And I'm going to endorse her right now. Reach out to her. So you'll be able to connect with her. I'll get the book in the show notes. Um, Davida, I've learned so much in this podcast and it's going to help me. And I appreciate it. I know you've helped out my audience. I thank you so much for being part of this. And as I always do in our podcast, I want to leave the audience with one tip. Could be business personal that they could, we can leave with them to help them grow either personally or professionally. Okay. So I'm going to go off script here and I'm going to give you two, actually. I'm going to give you two. One is from a business perspective. And this could be business or personal. Surround yourself with successful people. You are like the five people you spend the most time with. So look very closely at your inner circle and those people you're spending time with. Have they accomplished what you want to accomplish? Do they live the type of life you want to live? So from a business perspective, I would say surround yourself with professional people who will take you where you want to go. On a personal level, from a health perspective, just recognize that you ultimately hold the control to where your health goes. You have more control over your health than you know, and it's so, so important, especially in today's day and age with the three years that we've just been through and continue to go through, for you to take back the reins of your health because only you can decide where that goes. And as Steve said earlier, it doesn't matter what else you have. If you have, if you don't have your health, what do you ultimately have?